the news this morning. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says Israel's actions in Gaza are disproportionate and have cost thousands of civilian lives. The organization's now formed an expert panel to investigate possible war crimes on both sides of the conflict. But while Hamas has hailed the move, Israel slammed it, accusing the future inquiry of bias before it's even started. Paula Sleer explains. Well, Israel has called the United Nations Human Rights Council a kangaroo court. It comes after the announcement from the council that it was appointing a three-member panel to investigate allegations of possible war crimes. Now, the decision follows an announcement that was made several weeks ago by the head of the council, Navi Pele, and she said at that time that there is the strong possibility that Israel is violating international law and that world powers should hold Israel accountable for possible war crimes. She went on to point point out that the Israelis had hit schools, they'd hit homes and hospitals, Gaza's only power plant, UN premises, and that all of this was in violation of the Geneva Conventions. The UN chief, Ban Ki-moon, has also in the past spoken out in the harshest terms against Israel, accusing it of hitting particularly UN schools where thousands of Gazans who have been displaced by the month-long fighting were seeking refuge. Now, Israel has responded by calling this 47-member state forum in the words of the country's foreign minister, he said it was a terrorist rights council and that its investigations and conclusions were predictable. Israel accuses the UN of being biased against it. And what the Israeli argument is, is that it is Hamas who should be investigated for what they call double war crimes. Number one, firing rockets at Israel. And number two, using civilians as human shields. Well, here is what the recent conflict with Israel has cost Gaza. That tiny strip of land by the sea has been left in ruins. More than 1,900 Palestinians have been killed. Tens of thousands of homes have been destroyed or damaged by Israeli strikes. Universities, over 100 schools and mosques, all reduced to rubble. Reports say half a million people have been displaced. That's almost a third of the population. And over a million people are now without access to drinking water.